In this topic, we need to find the probabilities for various situations. Before we start over here, there are many problems regarding cards, standard deck of cards. You might know there are 52 cards in a standard deck, excluding the jokers. Jokers are not considered in the standard deck. And there are 26 red cards, that is two suits are included, and black suits, sorry, black cards are 26 as well. So 26 plus 26 makes 52. And there are two suits in red, that is heartens and diamonds. So it is 13 and then again 13. Even with the black, it is 13 and 13. There are a spades and clovers. So this is the thing. And about face cards, if you have seen a deck of card, you might know there is jack, queen and king. Only these three have a face of a person or a, uh, of a person in it. So jack, queen and king are the only face cards. The ace is not a face card. It doesn't have any face of a person. It's a non-face card. It's number cards. So there are 10 number cards and 3 face cards. In the total deck, because there are 4 suits, it will be 12 face cards and 40 non-face cards. So this is some basics of cards, you know. Now they are asking you probability. Uh, you're picking a card from a standard deck. What is the probability that the card is 4? So you must understand how many cards are there. 52. That is the total possibilities. So always probability is the favorable outcome divided by the total possibilities. Now we have 52 po total possibilities. But how many 4 number cards are there? There is a 4 in spades, 4 in hearten, 4 in clover and 4 in diamond. That means there are 4 possible favorable outcomes. So it is 4 divided by 52. That is the answer. Same way, how many red cards are there? There are 26. 26 divided by 52. Face cards, I just now told you there are 12 total face cards. 12 by 52 and 40 by 52 would be the answers over here. Now similarly, now we will come to or. You know, this or is a very important thing. Now, or means, remember, it's plus, okay? In electronics, you might remember, or gate is a plus gate. You need to add, the, uh, you know, in electronics, if you uh, have done this in CDI or something, you might have, remember, or gate is always regarding to plus, and and gate is regarding to multiplication. But here, only the or is required. Now, they have told the probability of picking a queen or a heart. Now, let me tell you what or exactly is. Now imagine I ask you for a pen or a pencil, pen or a pencil. It would mean, because I need to write, I don't mind what it is. I need only one of this. If I get a pen, it's fine. Or if I get a pencil, it's fine. Any one of it is required. But what if I ask you a pencil and an eraser, eraser to erase something I wrote? I need both because I'm not going to start writing without a eraser. So I need both of this. And is both. Or is only one. So this is the difference. Now, similarly over here, probability of queen or a heart. So find the probability of queen plus the heart. Let's do that first and then I'll tell you how to uh, solve it properly. So the probability of queen, there are four queens. So 4 divided by 52 plus hearts. Heart is a suit in the uh, cards. There are 13 hearts. So 13 by 52. But there is one problem. This will give you an error because, see, queen, there are four queens. In this heart, heart and queen is also included. And even there are 13 suits in heart. And there is queen of heart and even in this. So this card is being repeated. That, that means this is the intersection in these both events. Okay, these are not mutually exclusive. So whatever is happening over here is related to this as well. So this queen of heart is there in both of this. So you need to subtract it once. So how many queen of hearts are there in deck? One and divided by 52. So always remember when it is not mutually exclusive, when these are connected to each other, 
you need to find the probability of the first event plus or means plus second event minus what is common in these both so this would be the answer it would be 17 minus 1 16 divided by 52 would be the answer or 4 by 13 same way you can try with jack or, jack or spades try it by yourself and check the answers explanation is already there over here and now say for example the 15th one here a drawing that is uh, a, you know a draw of a say lucky draw or something like that a drawing will take place where one ticket is to be drawn from a set of 80 tickets so there are totally 80 tickets at random if if a ticket is selected at random what is the probability that a number drawn is a multiple of four the first scenario it's a multiple of four it can be four six eight twelve or so on now another one is what is a factor of four the factors of four are anything that is divisible by 12 you know uh, without if you divide a number and it doesn't it gives you a whole number it should not give a decimal or a fraction if it gives a whole number it is a factor so you can divide 12 by 1 and you'll get 12 you can divide by 2 you'll get 6 3 then 4 is possible 5 is not possible 6 is possible and then lastly 12 i believe that's yeah because it's a small number it's easy to find out now these are all the possibilities over here also there are possibilities now how many possibles how many multiples are there till 80 it is for 20 times 80 so there are 20 multiples divided by 80 plus how many factors of tuvala are they 1 2 3 4 5 6 divided by 80 minus subtract whatever is common in these both let's see what's common 4 is common 12 is common so two digits are common now our, our, among the 80 tickets if at all you want to find either uh, when you select a one at random whether it is a multiple of four or a factor of 12 is given by multiple of four over here plus factor of 12 minus the intersection of those two and that would be the answer so whatever you solve over there would be the answer so it's 20 plus 6 by 80 minus 2 by 80 so this would be the final answer so that's the thing this is how we can solve and that'd be 30 percent so there is 30 percent chance that either these of the tickets will be drawn now we will quickly go through this one there are plenty of problems in this topic they're all easy and simple now your venn diagram is given venn diagram problems are easy because you can see the diagram as all the data and they ask they're telling that the venn diagram shows the senior class of valley view high whoever enjoyed the uh, extracurricular activities so all those who participated in extracurricular activities are mentioned that's drama band and athletics and those who do not participate are also there over here how many students are there in the senior class just add them add this all these this this all the numbers must be added and you will get the total number of students that's it so you just add them all up how many students participated in athletics it's the same thing but only see the athletic circle over here this one add all this and you will get the answer and next one is for drama over here now we know about athletics now they are telling what is the probability that a student selected is either for drama or athletics so we know how many athletics were there there were 159 students divided by the total number is 345 plus how many are there in drama you need to add this number 38 plus 4 plus 10 plus 30 so you will get a total of 82 divided by 345 now don't forget to subtract the common drama and athletics have all these in common 4 plus 10 it's 14 are in common so 345 so this would be the answer you can see this is the probability similarly the last problem over here we can see over here they have told and so don't use that formula or that plus formula is only for or here they have told and drama and band so what that means Let's see which is the intersection with drama and band. It's 30. 
So there are 30 divided by 345 students, about 9%. So that is the answer. So that is how we can solve. And over here, okay, now we will quickly come to some mutually exclusive problems. See now, if you know bowling, bowling is where you throw a ball at pins. So there is something called strike. So there will be many pins, you know, there will be about 10 pins. And you have to throw a ball from here, big bowling ball, and you should hit all the pins. So, if you hit all the 10 pins at once, that is a strike. So, if, if you miss that, then strike cannot happen, then you can do a spear. That is clear all the 10 pins within two tries, I believe. So, that is a spear. But it's very important you understand a strike and a spear can never be together. If if a strike happens, spear cannot happen. Whereas a spear happens, strike cannot happen. So they are mutually exclusive. They are not related. Now over here they are asking what is the probability that there is strike or a uh, spear. So remember, in such cases you cannot subtract anything because they are not mutually um, connected to each other they are separate so it's just add these both because over here there is minus zero they have no intersection together so that is the answer similarly you can see this problem see dario owns cards you know of basketball baseball basketball and football now they have asked the probability of baseball and football see baseball is 145 football is 102 you don't subtract anything because there is no same card. There is no card which is baseball and football together. So they are separate. So that is how we do it. Similarly, please go through these problems. They are all... See, now if they are related to each other, remember length, grade point average. If they are both together, then you need to subtract. If not, it will just be two of these. So uh, just now, it will be a mutually exclusive how we solve. No subtraction. But if at all this is related, female and R and C, then you need to subtract, otherwise no. Please go through all these problems. They are very straightforward, very easy. I'm sure, see now this is mutually exclusive, so no subtraction. Whereas if it is not mutually exclusive, you will have to subtract it out. Please go through these, solve it by yourself. And if you have any doubt, you can write in the comments. I will get back to you because this is a little tricky topic. But if you solve more problems, it'll be very easy for you.